Oh my goodness. How is everybody doing? Uh, great, I hope. Okay, we're back with not another beta read video. We're here with something brand new. Uh, kind of a review video, which is very exciting. Now, if I seem disheveled, it's because I just did this. <laughs> and uh, I did like a 20-minute video, and then I found out my sound wasn't working again. So, uh, check, check, sound, please be out. Oh. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's just go through some of those main points I just went through. Uh, it's not a problem. Uh, we're here with uh, Pete Golden's book, P.T. Golden, Band the Taboo, which is just awesome. So, with that being said, there's a, there's a, a few reasons why I don't do these review videos and why I'm doing this one. Uh, first and foremost, number one, it's a great book. Uh, so, uh, a little bit about me, five star beta reader, five star ghost writer. And uh, I'll just kind of take you through the story, you know. Initially, I saw this on a, a Facebook group, kind of like a blurb or kind of like a synopsis. Uh, I see a million of those, so when I looked at it, uh, it was a horror one. So I'm always skeptical about horror because <laughs> horror, <laughs> horror, uh, Chicago for you. Uh, so I'm always skeptical about horror because whenever I see these horror manuscripts, there's so many times where it's either A, overkill, or B, it's just like it's just very ambiguous and it doesn't have that connection. And what I like about Band of Taboo is uh, it, it forms those connections. And one of those big things that I love about this book is the fact that the author reels you in and does what Stephen King says in that create characters that people are going to love and then put them in horrible situations, which is exactly what happened here. So, uh, yeah, in the last version of this video, which I'm not going to publish because it's too much, uh, scary stories three this this book is very similar to this this book in general in a way that is more expansive more mature definitely more mature i would say uh because how can i say this scary stories you read in the dark uh they're like one page like flash fictions whereas band of taboo is it's these vast like uh they're they're short stories but they're nailed each and every single time which is awesome so a lot of times horror authors will try to do that they'll try to like basically get a million stories in there and what will happen is uh, just any any collection of short stories, especially the ones I receive sometimes. Uh, what will happen is uh, a few of the stories will fall flat. A few of those stories will fall flat, and either a they need to cut some or you just rewrite a lot of that. Uh, so with that being said, this book has all the nines on it. So all the all the stories are good. And they've got all the elements uh, present, plot structure, each all these things are very important and lovable characters, which is good. So, uh, what is the main thing that I'm going to say about this book, too? Uh, excuse me. <coughs> More over the, the process here. Is, uh, the author was sending me stuff almost every single step of the way. Every stepping stone, they ran it by, uh, author ran it by all the people they had involved in the project. And that's exactly what you guys should be doing out there. Uh, when I receive manuscripts, I probably received like 100 this year alone. This year alone. Whereas last year was like 100 to date. Now this year is like, whoa. Uh, what do I find about which, which books get published and which books do not? Uh, I found that when the author is not receptive to feedback, their book almost never gets published. It's very rare that I've seen authors that are just completely non-receptive to feedback and either A, they publish it and it's kind of like just eh, or B, like just, it, they stop themselves, you know? And also at the same time, I've seen people do the antithesis to that, which is uh, kind of like overkill wherein like they'll be too meticulous like every single little detail needs to be uh correct and if it, if it's not perfect they don't never release it and what i loved about this uh just the book and the author in general was they found that balance they found what needed to be done they they were like okay you know what i can't be too meticulous but i also should be receptive to feedback and that's why this book is published. That's why this is successful. Uh, and I got a feeling, uh, you know, I threw this at the end of the last video. Hopefully my sound is still on. Uh, Rick Rubin, he's a music producer, Beastie Boys and all that. Even a little Jay-Z. He has life advice um, that's kind of more over like, uh, how can I say this? If you tried your best, you're already a success story. You know, if you haven't tried your best, then there's nothing else you can do. If you did try your best, you are already a success story. And I think that this book and authors in general, when you try your best, you will get something out there. And it's okay to self-publish. It's okay if uh, tradition doesn't get you. Because those, <laughs> you know, I, you, same same here, where we get a million manuscripts. It's like picking a needle out of a haystack. Nowadays, you might as well just do it yourself if you love it. And this is one of those books that should get out there. Whereas opposed to the, the lot of junk on Amazon, <laughs> this is not one of those. This is one of those stories that uh, the author put their heart and soul into. You could tell, which is amazing. So, with that being said, it's free with Kindle Unlimited, which is awesome. So, uh, a lot of times, us authors nowadays could get paid more in royalties through ebooks, believe it or not. 
than actual paperbacks sometimes. But what I love about the, I've got the book right here too. Where is it? Oh my goodness, ban the taboo. Oh, so awesome. And I'll talk about the cover in a second. But anyways, this book has got a nice uh, paperback price, but I didn't see the hardcover option. That is awesome. They got a hardcover, and uh, usually uh, the overhead for that is uh, pretty pretty uh, up there. Uh, so with that being said, uh, PT Golden right down there. Go to get on Amazon, give it a follow, follow on Facebook, do what you got to do. I believe there's an author page. Of course there should be. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, no, no, no. I tried to do a read. I, I tried to do a read long in the last video. It didn't work. Uh, it was just kind of weird. Uh, it took too long. And then I think my sound went out. I, I think that happens when the memory is too much, but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about, uh, kind of the aesthetic of this cover. I love this cover for a few reasons. Number one, it, it's pretty cool. But number two, it's got the aesthetic of almost like that. You see the fireplace? It's almost like a bunch of buddies like kind of gathered around telling spooky stories. That is what this is. That is what this is, but it's 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 expanded. Like it's like these stories are gruesome, but they're done in an artistic way. They're done in a very artistic way, very creative way where it's not just uh not just throwing gore at the reader. I've seen that many many times where like uh, uh, authors are just ripping off people's heads and just throwing them at me. You know what I mean? And uh, usually, what when, when authors and this is, uh, let's make this half of like kind of an advice video as well. Is when you're over there trying to do overkill, you're neglecting a lot of different elements such as plot structure, character development, just all these things, even detail. Like they'll put too much detail on just the gruesomeness. They'll remove setting and all that. Authors. Find that balance, you know, if you're going for one of these uh, kind of gory, kind of more like really f like folklore. This is kind of like a little bit of folklore mythology, a little bit. But also there's so many different elements, like unlike scary stories, which is basically strictly folklore. Oh, uh, which I love this book so much. I'm so glad I found this at the thrift store. Uh, man, I hope this book gets in, in stores too. That's going to be awesome. Uh, anyways, yeah, so when you read this, it's more mature. There's more variants. There's a lot of different elements that come into play. Even from, it goes from like more modern to like more uh, kind of ancient a little bit. I've gotten manuscripts that are just completely like zombified, dystopia type thing. Uh, this is more over like, it's, uh, how can I say this? It's very ambiguous. There's so many different uh, uh, elements that can be brought into this. There's so many different aesthetics, which is awesome. Whereas, uh, let's say, scary stories, for example, their short stories are flash fictions, and some of them are only a page long. So, like I said, this is more of a mature version of that. So, I definitely recommend you guys pick this up. And uh, for all the people I'm beta reading for, check, 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 sound, sound, sound. And I, I do it for free on the channel. Uh, I want you guys to get published. You know, feel free to hit up the author. Uh, sc scrolly, scrolly. I'm sure maybe uh, he'll be more than willing to give you guys advice now. Because now there's more than enough qualification for, you, uh, for him to do that. And with that being said, go ahead and take advice. Go ahead and take it where it's necessary. Because when you close yourself off to the outside world and you close yourself off to the people, you know, like myself or just other people that are, are avid readers, when you close yourself off to them, you, you isolate w w w potential. You know what I mean? So authors out there, don't be too meticulous. Don't find that balance between doing your best on editing, doing your best on writing, and also at the same time, don't neglect, like, don't get shut down if somebody gives you a... Uh, Kind of like interesting feedback, you know? Uh, any beta reader that gives you harsh, harsh, harsh feedback, it's, it's not too much. Now, uh, originally, I saw the synopsis, I was very confused. I remember that, uh, just especially since I, re I receive a lot of, a lot of novels that are just like this. Uh, but they always fall flat, whereas this one was probably the prime example of a, a manuscript that didn't fall flat on this example. Uh, so Stephen King, they have those big, giant, uh, big, giant, chunky novels, which I love. But uh, keep in mind, here's some advice from Stephen King, and it, it's just amazing. It's, uh, you know, when you're writing a horror, present characters that people are going to love and then put them in horrible situations, you know? That is amazing. So I think the author does a great, great job. I'm not going to spoil these stories, but let's say, let, there's a story about, you know, this girl, and let's just say something horrible happens to her face. Uh, but the, the proper thing that was done there is they built up. The buildup was there. The character development was there. The appearance, elevated character profile. All these were at present before the gruesomeness started happening. And then with the gruesomeness, the settings were there. All the elements were in place. So that is one of the reasons I'm putting this on the channel is because I want you guys to not only buy the book because uh, it's a pal and it's a good book, but also moreover so you can see how it's done. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> you can see how it's done. Because uh, I remember I got a man. I'm not going to go too much into other people's manuscripts, but let's just say that uh, some of them, some of them, they just need advice. And a lot of them are just like this. 
Um, so, you know, support your local authors. Get this book and, you know, maybe kind of use it as a reference. You know, I wish, I, like, I tried to do the read along, but it didn't work. Um, let's, maybe I could just kind of... Anyways, presentation is nice. You can see the thoughtful presentation put into this. This is professional writing. You know, the fact that the author was going ahead and, you know, it being receptive every step of the way. Also being willing to put their heart on a plate, you know, put their heart on a book. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, with that being said, authors, go ahead, uh, like, subscribe to the channel, and pick up the book. But moreover, understand that you shouldn't stop. Don't be your own biggest enemy. That's the number one. Don't be your own biggest enemy. Because this is a vicious industry sometimes, yeah, especially now it's being a little bit uh, more saturated. Uh, don't put out junk. That's what I want to say as well. It's like Don't go out there and start just release, 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 release. Go ahead and you know, really work on something that's lovely. And like Rick Rubin said, if you try it your best, you're already a success story. That's more than over. Don't stop yourself. It's hard to get published. It's hard to uh, really write a book and edit. But get it done. You know, Go ahead and... F same thing. Find authors that you can uh, kind of run with, you know, or find beta readers you can run with, or find people that uh, are kind of in your same industry. Uh, we, you know, in music, we do this all the time, where, you, like, you know, if you're in a band and you find another band you click with, you know, you kind of want to, like, play shows with them and just keep running with them. Find that. That's another good piece of advice. Find your, uh, find your team a little bit, or maybe your uh, community, your kind of your bubble, and get it done. You know, most times more than that, people are more willing to help you, but also at the same time, be careful that you don't stop yourself either. So with that being said, you know, find that middle ground. And I think what another thing this author does good in here is world building, which is, that's very hard to do in these situations too. Uh, you can tell like there's some authentic concepts in here, but also at the same time, uh, I've seen a lot of people try to do these books and they world build in such a strange and unusual way. And it's not, it's not executed well. Uh, like, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to give examples, but let's just say the, I, I got a manuscript like uh, three weeks ago and I was like, what was going on? You know, anyways, you don't throw gore at people, but if you're going to do that, elevate, 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 make sure all the elements in place. This is a book that does that band taboo. And it's also volume one, which is very interesting. Uh, I got a feeling volume two is on the way. I'm pretty sure that would be awesome. Anyways, go ahead, check out the book, and use this book as a reference point. All you horror authors out there that do these short stories like this, uh, if you've seen the channel, or if I actually beta read for the channel, uh, go ahead and review this video, pick up the book if you want, so you can see how the, the gore element is in place, that scary, spooky element is placed, but the fundamentals of literature are not neglected, which is the number one thing I see with this, is uh, people neglecting the fundamentals in lieu of throwing the gore at people, or throwing the non, more throwing like the horror aspects of people. When you're writing uh, horror, even fantasy, all the, it applies to many different genres. It's not only about throwing the genre uh, specific concepts at people. I hope my sound is on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's also about nailing all the fundamentals. So with that being said, author uh, P.T. Golden does a great job doing that. So feel free to follow the, uh, the pages he's on. I'll try to drop a description in the link. And uh, get it published. Go ahead, get those 500 words out there today. Get those 1,000 words in there today. And keep it real. Keep it moving and get that published. Get your works published because you know what? It's, it, you know, life is short. Get out there. Do what you got to do. And be receptive to feedback. Be receptive to feedback. And also at the same time, you know, really take what makes sense and what doesn't. But also at the same time, don't shut yourself down too. In case, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is literature. Same thing with music. It, not everything is exactly the same for everybody. So with that being said, be receptive, but also at the same time, don't be your biggest enemy. And you will get published, because like I said, a lot of times, the number one... This is only 50 minutes. I feel like it's been 40 minutes, because the other one was like 20 minutes. So anyways, uh, so with that being said, I feel like a lot of authors become their biggest enemy, uh, kind of stopping themselves every step of the way. Don't do that. Go ahead, and if you want, you go ahead. I love how the fact that this author was consistently uh, improving every single time. It was consistently improving each and every single time. And this, this book could have easily went uh, one of those routes where, you know, it just it became the biggest enemy. No, 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 no. They, you got to fight that inner al alchemy. <laughs> you know, you got to really fight fight yourself sometimes to get something published. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I got some books on the way as well. Uh, something Left something uh, something left to Burn is my next horror book. I, uh, Yami Kage Diplomacy is going to be out this week, hopefully. Uh, the ebook's already out there, but I'm not promoting it until... Uh, until the paper bag is out there, which is pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, so keep it real. Uh, support your local authors. Get out there. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to review on your channel, this channel in particular, the reason why I did this one is because I saw improvement. I saw improvement every step of the way. 
uh, it wasn't just, okay, that was nice, you know, I'm gonna not listen, and <laughs> just, it was just nice advice. No, 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 no. Take advice into consideration, get it out there, and also at the same time, you know, keep it real. <laughs> do what you gotta do, because you guys can do this. All right, so, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, have a great day, keep on writing, don't stop, because you will get it done as long as you are not your own biggest enemy, and you are receptive feedback when you get into the stage of almost getting ready to publish. Uh, yeah. And uh, for all the people at Beta Read and the channel, get those books published. Because I see, out of all these Beta Reads, I see which ones get published, and I see which ones with, that don't. And it's always the ones that are receptive to feedback. So go ahead and get, go ask for those second opinions. It really pumps you up sometimes, you know? Uh, all right, take it easy.